Hi there, everyone. Uh, this is a video about COVID testing next week for our learners. And it's, it's aimed at those people who are anxious about the test next week. And linked to that, it's aimed at, at anyone who is considering not giving consent for the test next week. We're really, really pleased that the vast majority of our parents and carers have given consent, which is brilliant. Um, but, but we've got some who have not. And I want to do everything I can to, to reduce some of the fear, some of the anxiety that's out there around the testing. So that's, that's, the, that's the goal of this, this video. And um, it's also for those people who are simply curious about the test and want to find out a bit more. OK, so let's start with the why. OK, so um, we know that with COVID-19, uh, around about a third of people don't develop symptoms. Um, so therefore, there could be staff and learners without symptoms that are carrying the virus and may then spread it to others. So through testing learners and staff regularly, we can operate as safely as possible and we can reduce the disruption to learning. So let me take you through how that works. So the more testing we've got, the more we can identify positive cases, which means that the fewer cases we will have in school and then the fewer cases there'll be in the families of our learners and the families of our staff um, in the community. So, so, the, so the fewer cases in school, the less transmission of the virus into the community as well. And ultimately that will lead to fewer people becoming ill. The fact remains that the majority, the vast majority of the school community and the local community have not been vaccinated. So if we can reduce the transmission in school through more testing, we can reduce the number of people who become ill and who become seriously ill. And there'll be less disruption to learning in that if we've got fewer cases, there'll be less periods, um, sorry, fewer periods of self-isolation. So there'll be less disruption to learning too. So who's going to be tested? Everyone's going to be tested. So all staff are being tested. They've all given their consent. And we want as many learners as possible. Ideally, we're aiming for 100% of our learners to be tested too. And this is a massive team effort. Through working together, we can keep each other safe. Teamwork is, of course, one of our wisdom qualities that we really focus on at Ladybridge. And through us working together as part of a team, we can keep each other safer. So what are the tests? Well, they're called lateral flow tests. And what they're very good at is they're very good at identifying those cases where we have people with a very high viral load. So have a lot of the virus inside them. And these, of course, are people who are most likely to transmit and spread the virus. So they're very good at picking up the cases of those people who not just have the virus, but are most likely to spread it. So how many tests are we doing? We're doing three tests on return to school. And then you'll be provided with home testing kits so you can, can continue to test, um, to have the test after that point, uh, but carry those out from home. So part of the reason for doing the test in school is so that you can get into the habit of doing it. And again, taking away some of that fear and anxiety. So you know what you're doing when you're testing yourself from home. Now, this bit for our learners is really, really important. Let me talk you through what happens during the test itself. Now, you can, of course, pause this video and have a little read of this um, flow diagram there that talks you through it. Um, so feel free to do that. And I'm now going to tell you a bit more about how it's going to work. So the test centre is in the North Hall and um, staff will be there to help you, but they won't be there to actually um, put the swab into your mouth or into your nose. So you'll be doing it yourself. You're in control of it. So nobody's going to do anything to you, but the people there, but there are people there to help you. And it's really simple. It's really quick. We've done over 500 tests so far with learners. And there's not been a single person who's done it and then thought that was unpleasant. I'm never going to do that again. Um, everyone who's done it has thought that's no big deal. Um, and they've been absolutely fine to do it again. It doesn't hurt. It's just a little bit uncomfortable. And if you find putting the swab to the back of your throat on your tonsils really unpleasant, you can just do the nose swab, which, you know, it, it's, it's not that unpleasant at all. It's no big deal. Trust me, it's no big deal. First time that I did it, 
I was a bit anxious because I'd heard people talking about how unpleasant it was. I then did the, the first test and thought, it's fine. It's no big deal. And I've had loads of tests since then. And it's like anything, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. And it takes away that fear and that anxiety. So consenting to testing. If you're under the age of 16, we need your parents' consent to carry out the test. So if your parents haven't given consent, parents or carers, then please ask them to complete the form that's been sent out via email. If you are 16, then you can give your own consent. And uh, we've emailed our learners who are 16 to, um, to provide them with the consent form. What you can also do is you could give consent. So you could have consent from parents or carers or give consent yourself and then change your mind on the day. So th that is OK. No one's going to judge you for it. You know, we want everyone as I said, I'll be open, you know, completely open about the fact I want everyone to be tested. But if you if you massively anxious about it on the day, you no one's going to force you to do anything. OK, so please try and take that fear and that anxiety away as much as you can. Last slide, um, what will happen on the day? You'll go to the leisure center first, so go um, into sports hall, staff will be there to greet you and they'll give you the instructions. It will really help if you've got your lanyard. So it'll be full, full uniform for the day. And the lanyard is actually the most important part of the uniform at the moment. We've sent a form to parents and carers if you need to order a new one. Um, the, the test will then be done in the North Hall. Then you'll go to the hub to wait for the result. And the last thing for me to say is that it's going to be wonderful to have you back in school. We're really looking forward to getting everyone back next week. It's going to be brilliant. That's it from me. I'll see you later. Thank you, everyone.